Hey there, it's Isaac from Powered by Rock here to bring Matt from Jerk into the spotlight for a few minutes and make him sweat with some on-the-spot questions. Welcome, Matt. Are you ready to be put in the spotlight? Put me in. Put me in. All right. So of all the shows you guys have ever played, I'm, I'm sure that you've had some of your favorites, but what's the most fun show that Jerk has ever played? Uh, I want to say when we opened up for the Lillingtons at the Beauty Bar uh, about, I think it was three years ago. It's on one of these uh jerk bomb pops last gang opening for lillington's at beauty bar that was about three years ago that was uh, that's awesome was that part of punk rock bowling uh, this this one right here uh no not part of punk rock bowling just lillington's on tour and that's uh that's my favorite band since i was like 16 years old so being, being able to open for them was was a big deal for me yeah that's very cool i mean all that whole lineup is quite good i mean bomb pops and and Last Gang as well is a great lineup. Yeah. Lo- love that that whole show. Everything about it was great. Awesome. All right. So what would be your ideal tour and who would be who would be who would you be touring with in that scenario? Oh, ideal tour. Uh gosh. I would love to tour uh like across the country. I'd love to go across the country with the queers. Interesting. Yeah, love them. Got to nice. play a couple shows with them last year and uh every show is with them is, is fun you should have just begged teenage bottle rocket to take you with them because they're doing that tour with them right now we tried we, we did we do <laughs> like please please i'll do anything yeah. <laughs> anything <laughs> awesome now do you guys have a uh Obviously, you work with mom's mom's uh, mom's basement records, but do you have like a recording studio or a label that you're like you like to work with, or a producer that you like with to work with that you just want to put out in the universe that say, hey, you know, this would be an awesome way to kind of put out an album. Uh, yeah, we're here in Vegas. We like to record with uh, Cody over at Asteroid M Records. Now okay. we're not on Asteroid M, but he has a great home studio, and he's done. Uh, he did, he recorded sleepaway camp for us and we've done some live videos there he is awesome to work with that's just it's working like in his in his house he makes it very he has a very great work ethic and also makes it very fun and relaxed and he he really brings out the best in people with uh when when they're recording nice yeah yeah i've heard of him he i've heard game. of ashray m but yeah i haven't yeah, uh, he, he has some really good bands on there too and uh, he, he'll get a good take out of you. And then, you know, you'll be like, oh, that was the one. Let's, you know, let's keep that, you know, let's use that one. And I'll be like, now do just one more, but really, really go for it this time. <laughs> so, he, Stop he, holding back, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he's, he's great to work with. That's awesome. All right. So what's your favorite album of all time? Mm-hmm. That's a good question. That's a tough question. Um. Uh, favorite album of all time. I'm going to go with uh, Lillington's Death by Television. Okay. Yeah, that's I got it tattooed somewhere on me. And <laughs> uh, it's just that, that album, uh, I know every word. And uh, it takes me back to when I was in high school, drinking with my friends on top of a mountain, singing singing those those songs. So that one, that's for me. Nice. Well, if it's tattooed on your body, I would assume it's got to be your favorite album or at least right up there, right? Otherwise, you might yeah. regret that tattoo later. Hey, it's, I think it's, I don't see it very often, so I don't have to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere where only other people can see. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. So let's get weird. This is the last question in the uh, spotlight. So if you were at a restaurant that only served food that you had never tried before, and you basically had to eat something, what would you pick and why? Something you've never eaten. Maybe you've always wanted to try it or it's just something, hey, you know what? I have to eat it because I'm here. What would you eat? Oh, gosh. that's a, that, I'm sorry. That's a terrible question for me because <laughs> I actually am vegan. So uh, I would tell them, uh, what vegetables do you have? And can you throw them in a pan with vegetable oil? And... <laughs> That's 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 what life on tour is like uh, for me personally, especially, you know, when I'm going to some some town I've never been to. I'm like I go to a restaurant. I'm like, uh, do you have anything that's, you know, yeah. it's just vegetables. Yeah. These are the, especially if you're like going somewhere through like where like it's Texas and 
you know, they never heard of vegans there. So yeah. it's like, so you mean you can't eat more than one rib, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, what, what my life is like. So, so let's put it uh, this way. So in a vegan restaurant, there's probably vegetables on earth or plants that you hadn't eaten that are edible. Um, maybe even from the sea, perhaps. I don't know if a sea cucumber is an animal or a plant, but is there anything that you've ever heard of that you're like, hey, you know what? I've never tried that. Maybe that would be something cool. Um, off the top of my head, no, but if, there, if there's something, you know, uh, these new vegan restaurants are getting very creative mm -hmm. and they uh, they might take some fruit that, came from from some other part of the world i never heard of and they throw it in a tortilla and put some salsa on it yeah, yeah i'm definitely gonna gonna jump on that yeah jackfruit's a big one with the tacos these days yeah jackfruit's great i never really heard of a jackfruit durian? before before i became vegan never heard of a jackfruit yeah me neither <laughs> have you ever heard of durian the uh philip no. it's like the filipino uh it's basically the smelliest plant on earth it's like a what looks kind of like a yellow coconut but if you cut it open, it smells like raw sewage. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that. I uh, uh, a good friend whose wife is Filipino, and they have great parties at their house, the pool parties. We get over there. We play our band plays in the backyard. We love them, but they always have Filipino food uh, catered. Yeah, and I hate it. <laughs> it seems to me that Filipino food is just all meat. Everything is made. and greasy. I go over there, yeah, yeah. They they spend a couple hundred bucks catering. My girlfriend loves it. She goes and eats all this all this food, and I'm sitting there with just a little bit of white rice. You know, that's all I can have. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been to the Philippines a few times, and I've seen them. So, like at KFC, they don't have like you don't just get like a side of gravy with stuff. So you get your fried chicken and all that stuff, and then there's a pump for hot gravy, and you just go over and pump all the gravy you want. And so they'll just like pump gravy over, over everything and dip their fried chicken in. And I'm like, you guys are all like five foot four and you're skinny. How the hell do you pick this up? Like, it makes no sense. You guys should be Jabba the Hut size right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty funny. So I'm going to put that on your list. So next time you see or hear of durian, you're going to have to try durian. it. Yeah. I will check it out. I will look at it. A lot it. of people say it's delicious. I've only ever had the ice cream version of it and that was okay. But the actual fruit, smells awful and you can smell it from like 200 feet away at least is it like uh like kimchi you ever had kimchi i've had kimchi yeah like the very cabbage. strong smell yeah it's very like a, the cabbagey the korean style like with like yeah. sauce in it and stuff yeah yeah it's very it's pungent because of the vinegar but, i think yeah but it tastes good yeah yeah awesome well, there we go. Thanks for stepping in the spotlight, Matt. And uh, hopefully uh, you got to learn a little bit more about Matt. And Matt got to learn a little bit more about himself through these questions. And uh, these are always fun to have. So make sure to go to the show notes below this episode, guys, for the links to the music and watch our full podcast interview as well. Guys, have a great day and rock on.